Slash Paul Glenn, the man with three first fucking three names. Three fucking first names. We finally did it for you, so you can get off our fucking asses. I don't know if he was really on our. Not asses. really, no. <laughs> not really at all. But it's Night of the Demons. Night of the Demons. And I've watched this movie a fuck ton of times back in the day when it made its run through cable constantly. Yeah. So yes, I remember this movie with great nostalgia, but watching it now, eh. Yeah, it was like a long hour. You know? It was an hour and a half. It was a very long, drawn out hour, hour and a half. Hour. And you know what's fucked up? Whenever he suggested this to us, I was like, I don't really feel like we've done this when we were at one already, so I had to look up. And yes, we did Night of the Demons 2 <laughs> for <laughs> Netflix like forever ago. Right. I don't remember a fucking thing about it besides Angela being in it. I don't remember what and I not, guessed it. And not like Sleepaway Camp Angela because that would make this a completely different fucking movie. Yeah. So, like, we probably said things or did things, whatever, and some, you know, if somebody calls us out on it, I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, there's video. My like, good, let me see it, because I don't remember. <laughs> and then when I see it, I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm a dick. But anyway, you were the one that was like, let's let's hurry this up a little bit, so yeah. I guess let's get into the fucking movie. Starts off with these animated credits here, with this fucking song over top of it. <laughs> Eighties was always, you know, good. I like eighties music. I'm yeah. sorry, I do. I, I there's some, that. no, I, I, there's some eighties music I like. I like it better now than I did back in the day. Well, yeah, because well, yeah. you know we're different now. We have broadened our horizons of music. I listen to yeah. absolutely and fucking I'm not everything just saying, now. I'm not just talking about like you know that one song. Everybody was to. Well, they, they, they play that fucking like, song on the radio like every five seconds, you know? I swear to God, it's on every other fucking channel every five seconds. Okay. I'm just saying. On that note, we learned that Linnea Quigley is in this fucking movie. She is. Awesome. Which I think she is. It's awesome because you know the titties are coming. Well, yeah. And also it's because awesome. I think now she has been in more movies, reviews of ours than Debbie Rochon. How can that be? I think Debbie Rochon has only been in three. Well, I think Linnea Quigley has been in like in three. Some Debbie Rochon. Dude, there needs to be a movie if that didn't happen already. Starring there... us and Debbie Rochon. <laughs> no. Just poor girl. If it hasn't friend. happened already, there needs to be a movie starring Debbie Rochon and Linnea Quigley. Yes. Even nowadays, I'm being both being older. It was. I would still love to see it. With them titties out? I'm curious, sure. Hey, you're curious. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's get Betty White and get him titties out, too. I ain't that out. fucking curious. Why not? There's a difference between, like, 50-some-year-olds and 90-some-year-olds. Betty White take care of you. <laughs> I'm sure she would. She would outlive you. Anyway, <laughs> we cut to these kids oh, driving kids? this car <laughs> with a jack lantern on top. We got... Pig Mullet. We got Pig Mullet slash Violent J slash uh, <laughs> part of the Nasty Boy team in WWF. But whatever, yeah, they're driving yeah. down the fucking road. Pig Mullet fucking moons this Pig old mullet. fucking man. Well, I'm sorry. He's still in his undies on. Yeah. Unless his ass cheeks are really that red. He needs to see a doctor. <laughs> but whatever. So now this fucking Alice, she's not Alice. Her name's like Judy or something. But no. this chick, she's running past the old man, knocks him over, and we see that he has an apple and razor blades, and he says that Damn little whore! Well, fine. I wouldn't want to help an old creep like you anyway. They'll get what they deserve. Yes. They'll get what they deserve. Tonight. <laughs> Damn kids! <laughs> it's like, do you really? I mean, are you are you really that grumpy and shit? And you're that much of an asshole, old man, that you're gonna put fucking razor blades and apples? You cunt. But anyway, so the chick goes home and starts getting ready for this Halloween party. Yeah. She's getting dressed as Alice. Was there some '80s music in this part too? I forget. I don't know. Let's let's see. Wow, but this is booby, sis. If you keep on going, you'll have to hire someone just to tie your shoes. <laughs> if there wasn't, then it'd be oh, like... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't remember. Me, 
see it. <laughs> and we don't remember. So if there was, awesome. If there wasn't, we just look like jackasses. But moving on. Fuck it. It is what it is. So yeah, um, now it turns into Clerks the TV pilot. <laughs> we got not Dante and not fucking Randall here. Yeah, and they are the now... Mosier's in the back, <laughs> Snowball's in the back getting eggs. Or yeah, no, fucking um, or milk Walt or Flanagan's in the getting <laughs> eggs. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, they not the Dante. Dude had a beard. The one time I had a beard, that was the one I was talking about. Uh, well, whatever. Not Dante not and Dante. not Randall are distracted by the Mia Quigley's panties while and Angela would not be. is going around fucking stealing all kinds of stuff all fucking just just blatant yeah. just taking shit and then she walks out with this huge fucking bag and Lenita quickly walks out and see there's him, no and cameras good. back then I mean nowadays you still got the douchebag clerk behind the counter but there's cameras everywhere. everywhere back then they didn't have no cameras so if he was distracted by panties you could steal whatever the fuck you wanted to so Not whatever cameras they get in the car and they start driving and they end up at the house from Garfield's Halloween special. <laughs> yeah, the the painting of room. the house. Oh, cartoons. and we get some backstory of the house. A funeral parlor? Way out here? Well, sure, it's nice and cozy, right next to the old cemetery. And rumor has it, old man Hull really loved his clientele. I mean, in the carnal sense. The Hull family met a pretty gruesome man, didn't they? They sure did. As a matter of fact, it was on Halloween night. One of them went crazy and slaughtered the entire family, then committed suicide. They could never figure out who did it. Too much blood and guts. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna party here. Doesn't that just make fucking Halloween, though? Yeah. You know what I mean? I watch it on YouTube every year. You know, the Peanuts one, where they, you know, the, the, the pumpkin patch. See, I can give two flying fucks about the Peanuts. Really? Yeah. I mean, just, it's, 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 it's the just most nostalgic to we've, play in the background. We've like had, we've had shit, this conversation before. I know I've had this conversation a million times with my wife, but Charlie yeah. Brown is the most impressive cartoon ever made, ever. But anyway, back to Night of the Demons. Night of the Demons. And yes, I guess we should have said this was the 88 version, not any of the sequels, or the 2000 whatnot reboot they tried to do with Shannon Elizabeth playing Angela. Jesus. Dude. I wouldn't have mind seeing them titties. I don't know. I don't think she got naked in it. Fuck. Just, Angela didn't get naked in this one, did she? I don't know. Just on Mia Quigley. Yeah. So blah, blah, blah. They start partying. All right, dudes. And you dices. Let's party! <laughs> Yeah, you who? Same fucking thing at all the stupid So, yeah, Linnea's all fucking dancing. Drunks, freaks, titties, you know. No, there was no titties yet. There There's, wasn't any There titties. wasn't titties for a while. But, yes, others start dancing, and then the music stops. Oh, oh, holy shit. Haven't you really ever heard of Duracell? Hey, look, don't blame me, man. I just put batteries in a damn thing this morning. <laughs> I can't live without my music. So yes, class Angela right says something about let's do some kind of seance type thing. I was thinking more along the lines of a seance. A seance? Isn't that a little chancy? I mean, this is Halloween, the night when all the creepy things are supposed to stalk the earth. I mean, there's no telling what we'll dredge up, especially in this old place. So they're all in front of this mirror doing this fucking shit, and they summon a puppet demon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the demon thing, it breaks the mirrors and falls over. So whatever, moving on, they're upstairs again, partying, what the fuck ever. No, they're just standing around, fucking puppet demon all flies through, looking at them, and then the Nia Quigley's putting on lipstick and it flies in her fucking mouth. Yeah. As smoke. And then all of a sudden it turns into the fucking 70s show all of a sudden because it's going around like, you know, doing that whole fucking thing like whenever they were getting stoned. Yeah. That whole center cam just like so that. So were they having a session? No, they were just standing there talking. They were talking. Yes. About having a session. So whatever, moving on, Angela now tells us the difference between demons and ghosts. Here you go. Yeah, they're both fake. What's the difference between possessed and haunted? A haunted house is a house with ghosts in it. The spirits of people who've died. But the spirits living in a house possessed have never existed in human form. They've only existed in spirit form. They're pure evil. They're demons. So possessed Linnea starts acting strange. Here you go. For tonight, anyway. 
Once again, blah blah fucking blah moving on. Possessed Lania gives Angela a kiss and possesses her. Yeah, she did, man. They were like, oh, she's like, oh, da 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 Then started walking away and pig pork nose, whatever, yeah. was sitting there and fucking... Well, he... And mullet pig. Yeah. And then she just turned around and walked right over and was like, blah, 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 and just started licking on her, you know. But then her and mullet pig go upstairs together while the others are going <laughs> around exploring. She said, she's like, maybe I'm in the mood for it, pork. Because he was like, wait, what are you taking fatty oh, boy? you talking about flat top. Yeah, yeah. Flat, flat, flat he's freaked out because he was like, hey, what are you taking the fat kid for, you know, and he's like, hey, some women like the fat kid. Well, actually, well, yeah, and Bird was right. She actually says it. This dude is a fat pig. Maybe I'm in the mood for pork tonight. I mean, not everybody wants Zac Efron, you know what I mean? Maybe they want a little bit of pork chop in their life. So like I was saying, the others are exploring and telling stories. Here is a fucking story. Even before the first white settlers colonized this area, this strip of land already had a bad rep. Sure, Max. Mm -mm. For centuries, the ancient Indian tribes that used to live around this area would never set foot on this side of the Underground Creek. Even back then, they said the land was unclean. Right, Max. And I suppose the ghost of an ancient Indian told you that. No. Mrs. Porter down at the library gave me a book that one of the earlier settlers wrote. I mean, you cannot believe all the cool shit they used to go down here. And then they split up, I like, like any good movies. horror movie. So whatever, you know, honestly, I don't fucking care. These two are out looking right. for the gate, they can't fucking find it. Oh, Maybe oh, take fuck. a step fucking yeah. back! It's I can't find the gate! I can't find the gate! The fucking chin is scraping against the wall. Like, just take two steps back! So we cut from that to Linnea in the bathroom, because she locked Pig Mullet out. She's in the bathroom. <laughs> and she starts kind of... Hulking out, sort of. No, she turns into Michael Bean. <laughs> yeah, Michael Bean. And then later on, Stephen Dorff. <laughs> <laughs> and then she disappears. And then disappears. Just like their careers. So moving on again, Angela starts writhing in the living room. You know, she's... Almost like she was doing the fucking dance from Frog Town. Dance, magic dance. No, from Frog Town. Oh, the Frog one Town. that um, female junior soprano had to do for Bullfrog. For Bullfrog. <laughs> yeah, when he was like blowing up his waddled balls. So whatever. Flat Top's sitting there watching it and he's kind of starting to get freaked out. I don't understand why. I wouldn't get up. Like well, I'm standing she's up. She's dancing like in the movie Legend. You know what I mean? With Tom Cruise. Oh yeah, I guess I should say no music's happening. No, not really. She's and now music's happening. Late 80s goth music. So she's <laughs> dancing to this. Yes. I gotta play it. They bought a bleed continuously Posting hands and feet and feet for me Fucking amazing. So whatever, Mullet Pig walks in. I love that. His <laughs> Mullet Pig. And starts hitting on Angela as she's dancing. Yeah, he's like, hey, what <laughs> So they start kind of dancing. Oh, yeah. And Slow dancing, kissing. Huh? And then Angela she bites his fucking mullet tongue pig. off. Well, as you would if you were kissing Mullet Pig. And then spits it out. <laughs> right into a jar of M&Ms or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but he was like... <laughs> And then she just sits there like, like all the blood pours out, you know. It's like, dude, man, I'd hate to be one of those actors back in the day that just had to drink like a, just take a, a big yeah. mouthful of that blood crud, and you're just like, <laughs> you know, like, make a bean face. You're like, try not to choke on this shit. You can imagine, it's not probably not very edible. So we're moving on again. Moving on. Flat Top finds Linnea having problems with lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, real problems uh, with do lipstick. Do I look pretty? And with it being Linnea Quigley, the titties come out. Ah, oh, you knew they were. <laughs> because, like, she went up here, we were like, yes. And then she buttoned, buttoned the one, we were like, yes. And then the other one unbuttoned, you are like, yes. And then it okay. was like, bah! So right after that, it cuts to these two. These two motherfuckers that aren't Linnea Quigley's fucking titties. These bastard <laughs> imposters. And no, they're masquerading as titties. No, they're not masquerading as titties. They're masquerading as this couple talking about fucking in a coffin. You know, I've never made it in a coffin before. Me neither. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was talking about uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So it cuts back to Linnea now, and she's drawing on her not titties because those 
titties are not anywhere close to fucking real. The titties, the fucking stomach, not even close. Those are imposter titties. So she's drawing on her imposter titties with lipstick. Throw and then I want them thrown in titty jail. And then takes the lipstick, puts it in her nipple. <laughs> right in, man. <laughs> she was like, bloop. You're like, wow, that's easy storage, I guess. So you could literally titty fuck her if your dick was as small as that fucking tooth thing. So... <laughs> What was it? Other what dude, it? other dude yeah. walks in, finds her, and she wants to blow him. Who <laughs> would? So she goes over and starts doing the blowing kind of. I'm gonna take your pants off, but it cuts the fucking way. And yeah, they damn near mic the fucking zipper. So flat top walks into like the living room, what the fuck ever, and finds Angela there with her hands in the fucking fire. Yeah. And she says She's some like, shit. Oh, thank God you're back. I was just like uh, get making my hands warm or some shit, and she was just lit up, you know. Yeah. And he was like, Woo! he freaked out like a woman, and then took off. And she says some shit. <laughs> some <laughs> shit. And she <laughs> sounds like Doctor <laughs> Fucking Claw. She does. I'll get you, Gadget. <laughs> I was waiting for it. It should have happened. No, but this is the point where it basically turns into mostly an Evil Dead ripoff kind of. Yeah. We now cut to dude in car, and he's all scared like he's been most of the fucking movie. Oh, yeah. They Body falls it. on it. I started thinking of Die Hard, you know, welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> but moving on. Yeah, they did make the, that dude like the biggest puss in the whole movie. Well, speaking of the biggest puss in the whole movie, it cuts back to Linnea Quigley pulling out her fucking puss. Yeah. Pulling it out? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> no. She takes off her panties, right. straddles fucking dude, yeah. starts fucking Fuck him. So as she's fucking dude, she just stops and asks about her makeup. Is my makeup okay? Are you crazy? What are you talking about? Stop staring at me. Damn it, Suzanne, your makeup is fine. Oh, that's the one I kept saying it looked like Ben Affleck. And then she turns into a demon. Demon And then we get some Dr. Claw voice. Stop looking at me. And then she pops his fucking eyes. Hey, you yeah. push you in. Now we cut back to the couple fucking in a coffin. Yeah. Enter mullet pig fuck. a little fuck. hard to do. Yeah, well, he even says it. Ah, shit. Damn it, this is worse than my brother's V-dub. But enter mullet pig demon fuck. Right, he comes in, breaks the chick's fucking neck, and then, you know, she falls on top of dude, he starts slamming the fucking coffin on dude's arm, dude's arm falls off, he moving like the falls fuck off. off. He ripped it off. He was sitting there, like, ripping the piss out. So, yeah, as I, I don't know if I measure or not, Alice is locked in the basement by herself, and she's been locked in this basement this whole, the whole fucking, fucking time. time. She, she has no fucking idea what's going on. Yeah, so we cut back to her in the basement. And then these two, Flat Top and Roger here, Rog. find Alice, set her free. Kick the damn door in. Set Ellis free. So yeah, they kind of like take off. Well, fucking Puss Muff and Raj didn't even want to rescue her. He was like, no. Well, he didn't want to do anything in this movie. But anyway, they take off, and Angela here evil deads her way down the hall behind them. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> So they run to this room where Flat Top and Alice find Linnea Quigley and dude's fucking eyeless head, and she offers them an orgy. Hey. How about an orgy? An orgy. Why not? I'm sure if we try, we can get Jay hard again. And then freaks the fuck out. And then Alice runs and Linnea says this. Run, Judy, run. See, Judy, run. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So yeah, Alice runs into the coffin room, finds the coffin dude's arm, which grabs her leg, yeah. and then the coffin cup will pops up. <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Alice dips. And now we get an extremely yeah. long scene of Alice walking down the hall, oh, starting to get fuck fucking surly. Me, dude. Because That's... at this point, I'm, we're like an hour in, and I'm like, oh my god, and so she's fucking, fucking taking one step at a time, <laughs> and you're like, fuck. <laughs> well, only to run into Roger here at the end of the hallway, and then into Pig Fuck Mullet Boy. <laughs> we'll be rigs. And then into Linnea. <laughs> and then she runs into this room and finds her way to the fucking roof. And then this scene of Dr. Claw voice happens. Enjoying the view. And then this fight happens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Flat Top and Angela go flying off the fucking roof together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Superman style. So anyway, yeah, so Alice is hanging from the roof forever, slowly making her way across as Raj is going, Nah! A little bit more this way! <laughs> yeah. A little bit more this way! Now! He's like, no! <laughs> now! When no! Demon Mullet Pig Fuck Fatty Fuck pops up <laughs> and scares Violet her Jane. as she falls the fuck down on top of Roger, but they're okay. Yeah, Roger's built like a twig, but they're okay. Somehow he caught her. First, it looked like her neck was broke because she hit and she was like, Gah! But then anyway, they run off and then they run into Dr. Claw. I mean, Angela. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're leaving. Sal wanted to go, but he decided to stick around. <laughs> yeah, someday he'll... And find Flat Top dead. You know they I run. Mean. Angela once again evil deads her way behind them. <laughs> and then they end up in this... They lock themselves in this room and cry for a little bit. <laughs> well, he does. Yeah. She just he's... keeps going, Raj! Raj! <laughs> Roger! Well, you wanna know how stupid fucking Alice is? She's like, hey Raj, look! A door! That's not a fucking door, yeah, you Yeah, Anybody moron. in their right mind knows that this is a fucking furnace. Yes. But oven. Alice little slow. She's like, come on, Raj! We need to this is the only way out. Come on, and Raj! Daddy, and Raj is like, I agree with brother. Roger sitting there and crying because it saved his life. Daddy taught me to pray real good. Bruce, let's pray. My daddy, he told me how to pray real good. How does how do you pray real good? Can I answer that? How do but, you pray real good? So anyway, still think this is a way Lord. out. Still think this is a way out. <laughs> Alice kind of climbs into the oven but finds a skull and now she realizes it's a fucking crematorium. The ashes didn't say nothing <laughs> to her. Or the rollers that went into it. Or the gas line. Blah, blah, fucky, blah, demons at the door. Just pounding. Sounds like a bang. <laughs> and, then, and now they talk to Roger. Open the door, Raj. We don't want you. We want the bitch. You know, we never heard a nice little boy like you. Go to hell, you dirty bastards. Oh, not tonight, my boy. Oh, no, not tonight. Yeah, they're like, Raj, don't be such a puss. Roger, let us in. We won't hurt anybody like you. A nice boy like you. So, yeah, that happens, and now we get to hear Alice's plan. Somebody that didn't even know what a furnace was, she has a plan, so I wouldn't here it the is. Piss she had to say. Did you hear what they said, Raj? Not tonight. They won't go to hell tonight because because it's Halloween, right? That's why they won't go to hell tonight, right? Because it's the one night of the year they don't have to. Remember what Helen said, Raj? Didn't she say that tonight's a special night of evil? Remember? Didn't she say that tonight's the one night of the year when all things unclean are free to roam among us? Remember? That's what she said, Raj, right? I think if we just hang out here until till dawn, we'll be all right. The demons start making the hinges, you know, the pins come out of the fucking hinges. Well, if they had a screwdriver, I guess they, yeah, they could do that. So Alice breaks the gas line that's in the fucking furnace. Now how the fuck did she march you Wow, While fucking Rod just cowers in the fucking quarter. <laughs> like he has the whole goddamn movie. And then, yeah, the demons bust in. She lights it. <laughs> after 50 times of trying to light it, but not. She lights it and flame throws all of them. And Spritz does nothing. Mullet Pig could have got to her because he the fucking busted in. It was like... Yeah. It was right there, you know, while she was fucking with her big lighter. So anyway, skeleton hand grabs Rod. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right. All the doors close, but they make it out of that room because they make it the whole way to the front door. They can't get out, and they run into Bert Angela doing her best Dr. Claw impersonation. <laughs> yeah, now looking like pizza. Bro. And all these other fucking demons. And they're all just kind of standing around. The demons just kind of yeah, standing there. Yeah, demons. Bro. And then and Alice and fucking Raj are just standing there, and they're kind of like backing up a little bit, and then Raj is like, motherfuck this, and Roger dives the fuck. Fuck out the He's window! He's special. Link Olympics himself right out through the fucking window, man. You're like, dude, did he just throw himself out the fucking window? And then Alice stands here for a minute. Why? I don't know. And then 
walks out the window. Casually. So but, yeah, there's no gate, because Roger couldn't find the gate earlier, so they have well, to climb no, the wall. Well, against the wall. So they start climbing the wall on barbed wire. While the demons come out, and they're <laughs> all run, lightly... He's like, <laughs> As you would. And they're lightly rubbing at Alice's legs. Oh, they're giving her a good massage. Rod falls over the wall, and is kind of just expecting Alice to I die. Know, this whole time, you're like, get up, Rod. God damn it, you pussy. But he ends up getting up and saving Alice just in fucking time. He was about to let her go, though. Because he, he was cutting yeah. his ears, he was like, I want to hear the pain. Yeah. You know? But it rises, but it doesn't, because it's still fucking night out. Well, I guess it takes a while. But the demons start turning into green smoke. Yeah, they leave behind a fresh set of pine. And then the demon puppet pops up. <laughs> Steven <laughs> Dork. <laughs> and then kind of... Does that. Like, like Superman 2 when they were and, sodden them. Went up and the then day. the sun comes up for real, and then it fades to... Alice and Roger walking home when they get yelled at by old crab apple man here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being an old prick that he is. Rotten pig trash. Been out all night, huh? Ah, that old rotten hell. <laughs> Kids. So he goes into his house, and this is the part of the movie that I will remember all of my life. Yeah. Because, I mean, I will always remember this because this is my favorite part of the fucking movie. So, yes, he's being all blah, blah, blah. Sarah blah, Leo, Sarah. Fuck yeah. yeah. And his wife's like, here's your pie. And, you know, they're talking, talking. Be wary of your wife giving you fucking pie. But I think you'd, no I think you'd notice. But anyway, oh, shit. let's just let this scene fucking happen. Is it good to hear? Nah. It's okay. Just okay. You used to love my homemade pies. Homemade? When did you make this? I've been up for hours, sleepyhead. I made it while you were getting your beauty rest. Last night? There weren't as many trick-or-treaters last night. Not like the good old days. I had to do something with all those leftover apples. I still can't understand why you buy so many. You wouldn't notice the fucking rain swallowing a razor blade. He swallowed it whole, dude. You can see it right there. He did. I, I know he did. And then uh -huh. she kisses him, looks at the camera, says something. I don't remember what. What did he say? Happy Halloween, dear. Okay, she says that. She says that. Okay. Good. And Good. then ends. Ends. Credits. Thank you, God. 80s music. Can you feel like a winner? The end. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah. That was the longest fucking hour, hour and a half, half ever. of my life. Yeah. Thanks, Nick slash all the yeah, man with three you. first names. <laughs> <laughs> We're always cursing you, bro. <laughs> Maybe you should stop suggesting things. Now, honestly, I used to love this movie. I used to watch it any time it was on cable, but we didn't, you know. I know I've seen this fucking thing years yeah. ago, but I don't I used to know. love it, but it's nowadays thank being you for, Thank you for the man with three first fucking names to bring that core back into my life. Dude, there was titties, there was gore, and we were still not happy. I mean, we were slightly happy. Slightly. So I think for the next fucking movie we have to do, we have to do a shock to the system. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but I seriously think we need a good shock to the system. We're too jaded and we're too desensitized to this fucking <laughs> stuff. So we need something stronger. Yeah, we need something with, with some gusto. Yeah, so... To punch us right in the bull. That's a surprise for next week. So for Bird and Gutter, this has been another one of the worst movies on YouTube. We'll see you next week. Anybody want to try to take a guess? I mean, we're giving you no hints. I mean, <laughs> no hints whatsoever. Not. So, I mean, you could take your guesses and put them down in the credits below, but you're never going to fucking guess it. Yeah. Never. Never. They're not going to guess piss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think it's not acid. So, it cuts back from them to... What does it cut back Wait, to? Wait, doesn't... Fucking mullet pig come in? No. He has tongue bit off. Yeah, but he's a demon. Not, wait, we're nowhere close to that yet. <laughs>